Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's talk about this African primate called the Galagos. Uh, it's capable of jumping extremely uh, high in the air. And let's see if we can calculate exactly what happens with this animal. Okay, so here's our Galagos. And it jumps up, and as those legs push it upward, it is accelerating. And then once the legs finish pushing up, it is in free fall, okay? So these animals can rise to a height here of 2.3 meters. And they do that by accelerating over a region that is pretty small, 0 0.16 meters. So we would like to figure out how fast that animal can accelerate when their legs are pushing them up based on these numbers here. So, how do we do that? Well, first off, this is a kinematic problem. And so we can go to our kinematic equations and hopefully figure something out from those kinematic equations. Now, one thing to consider is we want to label the different heights appropriately such that our kinematic equations make sense. So why don't we call the bottom here 0 and we will label that as y0. This height where the animal has stopped accelerating we'll call that y1 and we said that was 0 0.16 meters and then up here at the top we will say that is y2. All right, so we're looking for this acceleration a. How do we do it? Well, first off, if we consider the motion going from this point up, then we can probably say something about the motion. So let's consider the motion going from y1 to y2, and in that region we have an equation v2 squared equals v1 squared plus 2a sub y times y2 minus y1. All right, so v1 is some positive number. v2 is their speed at the top, and that is, of course, zero. So we have zero equals v1 squared plus two times the acceleration in this region is of course negative g. y2 is 2.3, y1 is 0 0.16, so we'll just leave both of those variables in there. And now we can solve this equation for y1. So we have v1 equals 2g y2 minus y1, and all of that is square rooted. Okay? And if we plug in some of the numbers that we just gave you here, what do you get? Well, we have 2 times 9.8. I'm not going to write down all the units. These are all SI units. We have 2.3, and we're subtracting 0 0.16, and we take the square root of all that. And if we do that, you get 6.48 meters per second. Okay, So this is how fast they're going after their legs have pushed them upwards. Okay, so now let's consider this motion where they're starting on the ground, and their legs are extending up till they get to this height, y1. So going from y0 to y1, what can we say? Well, we can use the exact same equation. v1 squared equals v0 squared plus 2 times this acceleration a times y1 minus y0. Now they start 
at rest when they're on the ground. So that V naught is zero. And they also start at Y zero, which equals zero. And so we can solve this equation for A now. A is equal to V one squared over two Y one. And now we know all of those numbers, right? We just saw for V1, we said it was 6.48. We're going to square that. We divide by 2Y1, which was 0 0.16. And if you plug all that into your calculator, you should get 131 meters per second squared, which is a pretty big number. Right? That's the acceleration of this animal. If I divide that by 9.8, I get 13.4 G. That is a pretty phenomenal acceleration from a little animal. All right, hopefully that one makes sense. If not, come see me in my office. Cheers.